pretty much all wood finishes come in tins like this. The problem with tins is that it's really easy to damage the tin or get gunk around the edges that stops the tin lid from sealing properly, which can lead to oxidization of the finish and you end up with dried finish inside your tin. It can end up being quite expensive when you're wasting half your finish just because you didn't get a good seal. Other issues include how do you actually get it out? You can pour from the tin, but you'll often get quite a bit dripping down the side and that can be quite wasteful. If you go directly from the tin itself with a brush or a roller, you run the risk of contamination within the finish and then the next project you work on might have some color bleeding or some weird lumps in it because you've got parts of your previous project on it. What I've been using for a little while is these stop loss bags. The idea behind these is you transfer all of your finish into this bag because it's got a screw top lid on. Because it's got a screw top lid on it, it's much easier to get the finish in and out and much easier to seal it up than the lid of the tin is. So today I'm going to transfer this one litre container of Fitters Hard Wax Oil into this bag. As this is a brand new tin of satin finish, I need to mix it thoroughly. After that, it's just a matter of stretching the silicon funnel over the tin, which is a bit tricky on one litre tins. Stop loss recommend blowing into the bag to help with the transfer process. The bellows motion speeds up the finished transfer. So I was able to get probably 95% or so of the tin into here. Last little bit just wouldn't go in, at least with this funnel. Uh, with the funnel, you can let that dry overnight and then turn it inside out because it's just a silicon funnel and the finish should just peel off. It should be resistant to most, if not all, finishes. Uh, and as you can see, there's no real oxygen in this bag. So in theory, this will oxidize very, very slowly, if not, not at all. Uh, and then when I'm actually going to use it, I can much more easily just pour out a little bit at a time into, in this case, I'll be using a roller uh, or into a secondary container, which is a lot easier than using a tin to get just a little bit more. So you end up leaving the lid off and making the problem worse. Now, this is not sponsored by stop loss bags. I just haven't had a full tin to transfer since I bought the, <laughs> the bags, so I haven't been able to give a good demonstration. I haven't had any issues with these so far, uh, but if I do, I will report back. Thanks for watching. I should mention that these are reusable bags, so they're not a one-time thing. All you do is use the solvent that whatever the finish was, so in this case I'd use Terps. Um, as soon as you finish the bag or finish, you flush out the bag one or two times, depending on how much finish is left behind type thing. Um, and they should be good to go once they dry for whatever other finish you're going to put in there. I'd also recommend writing on it before you fill the bag up with finish. It's much easier. Uh, and if you're going to do that, use the Sharpie industrial markers rather than the regular Sharpies. These are a little bit more solvent resistant, so they do take a little bit more to remove but they also just don't wipe off plastic. So that's a good thing. Thanks for watching.